What's going on, football fans? It's another edition of the Hurry Up. I'm your boy, Adam. Let's get into this. So recently, I've been speaking to Giant fans. As you can see, I'm a Giant fan. And they are concerned with the depth of the offensive line. And what I have to say to them, to all fans around the NFL, not just Giant fans, let the evaluations take place. Remember, last year they didn't have preseason games, right? They only could go on what a scouting report was. They now have a couple preseason games that they're going to look at to evaluate players. So if you're a Giant fan, go listen to the press conference with Dave Gettleman. He got hammered with O-line questions. Hammered. And what did he say? He said, we want to let the evaluations play out for the second preseason game, and that's when we're probably going to make our, you know, assessment. What, meaning he wants to see his first team and his second team O-line play if people get injured, hurt, or they stink like they did last time in the game, then they'll make the proper adjustments. But they didn't remember that. Remember, last game, not many teams played their roster. I said this once, and I'll say it again. 31 players from the Giants didn't play. How many of those guys were off of the linemen? Recently, I just saw a practice report, video yesterday. Jonathan Harrison was practicing. That's a good sign. Shane Lemieux was practicing. That's a good sign. Nate Zolder, I do not see. He might be practicing. He might not be. But my point is, those are two guys, Jonathan Harrison and Nate Zolder, who play on that back half of that offense, the second string offensive line. Now, if you have other guys, remember Zach Fulton and Joe Looney, those guys were going to be part of that line. They're not now. Now they brought in uh, the Larson guy, Ted Larson. He'll be part of that second team offensive line. Looks like a big man, not saying he's great or anything like that. But right now, those are three depth pieces that now will probably get some burn in the second preseason game. So let's let that play out. As for a guy who keeps coming up, Austin Ritter, whether the Giants sign him or not, Somebody brought it up perfectly. Maybe they offered him the position when he came in or when they spoke to him and said, listen, you, you, we, gonna, we like our guys, but you're going to come in and be a backup. I know a lot of people are like, well, bring him in. He's better than Shane Lemieux. And then I'm like, but you didn't even get this kid. You got this kid a chance to play. He's a rookie. He was a fifth-round pick, right? Austin Ryder was a seventh-round pick from the Washington Redskins who worked his way into a solid career and, and did solid with the, the, the Kansas City Chiefs in winning a Super Bowl, right? And did play 12 games, I do believe, last year, 2020. Um, there's a reason he's not signed right now, whether that reason is because, you know, he doesn't want to take a backup role, whether that, you know, could be a possibility of he's not vaccinated yet and he wants to wait until that happens, whether or not it's, you know, the team offering him money. Maybe he wants to hold out for more money, you know. And then maybe last point I heard, and, you know, uh, on another podcast I just, that that brought up a good point, maybe he's waiting till everybody gets injured to get a better chance to start. Remember, he started games last year. He was on a starting Super Bowl team. So maybe Oscar Ritter's mind, like, no, I'm not going to take backup money. I'm not going to take a backup. Now, I'm not saying the Giants aren't going to sign him. But – these are reasons why he may not be in the building right now, okay? So Dave Gettleman and Joe Judge both said they're probably going to bring somebody in. Gettleman was more forthcoming when he said, we're waiting until the second preseason game and cut downs happening to bring somebody in, meaning they want to get some tape on these guys. Mind you, there are two more cut downs before the season starts where there will be waiver wire trades and transactions made, especially now that they have preseason, especially now they can get more film on these guys. Last year, it was a little harder to do, but you, you used your camp evaluation. Remember, Giants got Isaac Yadon, who they traded recently, for another quarterback to Green Bay. So transactions will happen. As for the Giants, they seem to be acquiring a lot of cornerbacks at the moment for special teams purposes. I want to just mention this. Waiver wire doesn't necessarily guarantee you making the roster, but if you put in a waiver claim or you trade for somebody, those guys have a leg up on the back end of the roster. So back end guys, you need to stand up and make plays in these next two games when you get in. The Giants also signed a quarterback that, you know, they're going to use as possibly a camp body, maybe put him on the practice squad if he makes it through, or get a new guy. Remember, transactions are happening. It's the second preseason game. Let's just be excited about football. Let's not dwell on things that we can't control with our team right now. Gentleman knows, Mara knows, Judge knows. They need help on the offensive line in terms of their depth. They're going with those five guys, whether you like it or not. They're going to roll out Matt Pert. They're going to roll out Shane Lemieux. They're going to 
start in the Gates at center because he they they developed him there, and they're going to definitely uh, leave Andrew Thomas, who is doing pretty well in camp, at the left tackle spot. The only shakeup I can see is them moving Nate Solder. Now, again, are people going to be happy with that? They wanted to run him out of town when he played uh, left tackle. And someone said, well, maybe they should have kept Zeitler over Solder. Well, they did, but they had Shane Lemieux, and they wanted to keep it in-house. And I don't blame the Giants for trusting their coaches and trusting their players to be better players. So, in closing, we'll see what happens. Enjoy football. Enjoy preseason. Back at it again very soon. I'll see you later, folks.